Okay, so this transthoracic echo, this is we are seeing the parasternal long axis view. And we can see this is the left ventricle, this is the right ventricle, and this is septum, is interventricular septum. And just we are seeing two more valves here. One is the aortic valve, and right below here is the mitral valve. And between the left ventricle, the mitral valve is located between the left ventricle and left atrium. So this is the first picture we have to take in the echocardiography protocol. And then we can zoom this picture to focus on its valve. So this one we are seeing the aortic valve. And right below here is left ventricular outflow tract. So you have to save the image, and then you have to zoom again. Yeah, that's the mitral valve. Little more zoom. Yeah. So you can see the leaflets. This, the long one is the anterior mitral leaflet, and the short right here is the posterior mitral leaflet. Right below is the corda. So we'll take a picture here, I mean saved here. We'll go for the color Doppler, zoom again to look for any regurgitation. Uh, it doesn't seem, it seems okay. No regurgitation has been seen here. So just store the image. Now we have to go for mitral valve, uh, sorry, it's a M mode, that is motion mode at the level of the aortic valve. So you can see the box here, right here. So it's aortic valve closed here. When aortic valve is opening this, well, we can see a box. So that's, that indicates that aortic valve open here. So you have to save this image again. Now, again, M mode. As little, a little up of the aortic valve. So you have to include both the aortic valve and the atrium. So freeze and save. And then M more again at the level of the mitral valve. So you, you saved here. So this is left ventricle. This is interventricular septum. This is posterior wall. This is the anterior mitral leaflet. So it's opening E and that's A wave. This is posterior, posterior mitral leaflet. This is an E wave and A wave. And here the mitral valve closed. It seems to be a little regurgitation because it's not closed properly. So anyway, we'll confirm with the color Doppler. Now again, I'm taking the mitral just below the mitral valve level, it's actually the corda level or mid level. It's again M mode. So I saved the picture here. That actually to assess the LV function, we'll see the motion of the, the walls, I mean the left ventricular uh, posterior wall and the interventricular septum. So this view we are seeing next just yeah uh, that's actually right ventricular inflow tract. So it's the right atrium here tri and tricuspid valve right ventricular at the top. Yep, so we have to take a, we have to save the image here. 
give the color. To see any regurgitation is present or not. It seems to be OK. No regurgitation has been found here. And then adjust the scale baseline a little bit. Yeah, because no regurgitation, so it's OK. The next view is uh, this outflow tract, right ventricular outflow tract. So save the image, give me the color. I'll save the upload just below the pulmonary valve, save this image, and continue save. And the outflow tract. OK, so this I just uh, moved the transducer from two, uh, I mean, parasternal lung cyst to towards, uh, I mean, um, and uh, clockwise as 12 o'clock position. And then just I moved a little up, one space up to get a good view. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you.